the 1950 Oldsmobile Custom. Coming up next on Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in this box? What's in the box? Hello everybody, my name is Trevor Selescu and welcome back to another episode of Monster Hobbies, what's in the box? Where we get to look at Oldsmobile's entry in the model kit world. This is pretty much the second Oldsmobile coming after the 1923 Beverly Hillbillies truck. And it's an amazing kit by Ravel. So let's go down and see what's in the box. And now we look at another classic car from the 1950s, the 1950 Oldsmobile Custom by Ravel. And this is a skill level three kit. So get ready to see a lot of really cool parts. And as we open up the lid, we're confronted with a very nice deck, uh, instruction sheet. <laughs> and here they list off all the body parts that come with the kit, as well as a paint chart. a lot of pieces to the kit and there's the Olds Rocket 303 motor and tricarbs and a description showing how it goes into the frame the 303 engine was one of the engines that was very popular at NASCAR back in this time frame we've got an independent front suspension we have separate brakes quite a good looking kit there's our frame the interior is multi-piece as we will see right here front and rear seat backs separate panels a nice dashboard and the spinner hubcaps which were a popular Oldsmobile hubcap as well as they have paneling in the top of the roof including your dome light and your sun visors fender skirts and many other fine details a hood with hood hinges yep yeah, lots of cool things and now let's take a look at the plastic in the kit So I still have to open the bag on these, but at least they're not taped up, or this one isn't. And there is our nice Oldsmobile body in shiny white plastic. Very, very nice. And the, although the body style was pretty typical of GMs of this era, Oldsmobile had these drop-down type of headlights. Uh, this body style would have been shared with Buick and some of the bigger cars. The Chevys were a little bit different. And here we have the chrome, which again is just in the bag. But you can see that it's a nice chrome plating job. There's also some hood emblems. Oh, these are the taillights actually. Go along the back on the top of the rear fenders. And there is the under frame with, of course, the interior. And it's nice that Ravel put their mold marks under the seats where you can't see them. So you don't really need to try to scrape these off with the number 16 hobby knife, which is always nice. Here's our upholstery. And they give you the little ropes that hang off the back of the seats, as well as the steering wheel and the pedals. And there are your sun visors and following up the interior is all the suspension components including these nice backs of your drum brakes and here is the Oldsmobile frame with the independent coil springs which I own a, a real 1972 Oldsmobile 
and uh, it uses these same kind of spring suspension. And there's our upper A arms or lower A arms for the suspension. And here we have all the springs and some of the tie rod ends. There's the hood and fender skirts. And this strange piece is actually the air cleaner. Here's our wheels and our in part of our Rocket 350. These are nice actual wheels. The seat and the dashboard. And note that detail. Looks exactly like a 1950 Oldsmobile. And there's our front seat. Firewall and radiator support. The, the other part of the Olds 350 rocket motor, including the exhaust and the steering column. And there's our rear axle. Pre-painted white walls and our glass. And a couple little metal bits, which I su suspect are part of the suspension. And here is the decal sheet, which actually goes this way. Some pinstripes. There's a decal for the instrument panel. And of course, a lot of the car clubs, the Misfits, the Deacons, the Jokers. <sighs> yeah, so you can build some pretty cool things on here. And that brings us to a conclusion of our 1950 Olds Custom. And I hope you enjoyed that episode of Monster Hobby's What's in the Box, where we got to see the 1950 Oldsmobile Custom Kit from Ravel. Sure is a beauty, isn't it? And if you would like to see some of the other amazing cars in this series, please click here, click here, and click here. And don't forget to like and subscribe to us right down here so we can continue making these amazing videos. And until next time, always remember the white walls have to face out so we can see them. Have a good one.